Today I want to show you guys some cool pedal steel bends that I've been doing lately. They sound pretty unique and they're kind of easy to achieve. You just have to practice the bends and try to keep your notes in tune. So let's go ahead and dive in. So you can tell there's not a lot involved in this lick. It's pretty simple. There's just two parts to it. It's based off of a C triad, and then it ends on a C dominant seven. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first half of the lick. We're gonna mess around with the C chord up near the 12th fret. It's just like the C on the lower octave, but an octave higher. And we're only gonna use the top two notes in that triad, which would be the C and the E. So without the bend, the first half of the lick sounds like this. We're essentially just bending up into that C chord. The trickiest part about this lick is going to be keeping your bends in tune. I find that for me, it helps to kind of go slow. And then once I can feel where the bends are supposed to be, then I can start speeding up the lick. So let's hear the first half. Now, if I didn't do the bend, the lick would sound like this. All we're doing is just bending into that C. And then for the second half of the lick, it's kind of the same thing. You're just in a different position for the C chord. We're going to base ourselves on this C chord right here. And the only notes we're going to need out of that are this E on the G string, and then the G. So the three and the five of that C chord. And just like the first half, we're just gonna bend into that C and then down half step and another half step. So without the bend, the lick sounds like this. And now with the bend. So you can see we're just bending into that C, super simple. So now let's do the first part and the beginning of the second part. And now if we played it without the bends, here's what it would sound like. You can hear the bends kind of just add a bit more taste and it sounds a little bit more like a pedal steel. And now for the last part of the lick, I like this because it ends on the C dominant seven and it gives it a nice tonality. Now we're based on this lower C chord around the fifth fret. I'll play the last part of the lick slow so you can kind of see what my hands are doing. I'm going to play it slow again, but at the end, I'm not going to do the bend so you can hear what it sounds like without a pedal steel bend. So you see we end on that C dominant 7, but we're bending into it. And that one's really hard to keep in tune because you have that dominant 7 tonality on top. So you really want to make sure you keep that bend in tune. So these are called double stops, and you're really going to want to try to use your pick and your fingers. Watch my right hand on this last part of the lick. I'm going to play the whole lick slowly and focus on my right hand when I'm doing the double stops.
You can see the only time I'm using my actual pick is on that last bit of the lick. I'll play the last bit one more time so you can see. Pay attention to my right hand. So if I do it slowly, it's pick, hammer on, fingers, pick, pull off, fingers, 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 and then bend. And then I use my finger at the end there. One more time, slowly, I'm going to play the whole lick. One, two, three, four. You don't have to play the lick exactly like I'm playing it. You can use these double stop bends all over the neck and on different parts of your solos. And even if you're doing rhythm comping, you can use these double stops. You don't only have to use them in this specific lick. I could actually start with a dominant seven. For example, I'll play that slowly. I'm actually starting there with the dominant seven bend and then going down back to the C major. Another trick I'll use this lick for is if I'm in C major, I'll actually bend up to a D major and then go back down to the C major using double stops. So here's an example of that. So I'm starting with the bend from a C sharp up to a D and then back down to the C major. So C sharp, bend up to the D. And then you can hear I go back down to the C. And then I kind of just end with this little bluesy country lick. So you can use these pedal steel bends to spice up your playing and spice up your soloing. As always, don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions or if you'd like to see anything specific. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.